Hi friends, good evening and second welcome back to my channel Mukambika Nursing. Friends here we are discussing questions for ESIC Nursing Officer Exam Preparation. Exam is on 7th July. We are discussing previous year question and also most important questions. And the first question, a 7 years old girl is to begin her first immunization schedule. According to recommended guidelines, which one of the following vaccine is not needed? And there are options, option A, polio, option B, measles, option C, pertussis, option D, mumps. Here our question is, a 7 years old girl started her first immunization schedule. That means she started first immunization according to a recommended guideline which vaccine is not necessary for this girl among this option which vaccine is not necessary for the seven years old girl it is pertussis pertussis is also known as whooping cough it is primarily a disease of infants and preschool children okay Pertussis is commonly affecting the age group below 5 years. Okay, or the up to the age group of 5 years. Here the girl's age is 7 years and she started immunization. So, she does not require pertussis vaccines. Remaining polio, measles, mumps, all she can take. And the next question, the best route and site to administer MMR vaccine to a 5-year-old child is? Options, option A, I am in gluteal muscles of buttocks. Option B, I am in deltoid muscles of left arm. Option C, subcutaneous to outer aspect of upper arm. And option D, intradermally. Here the questions, child age group is 5 years. So, which is the best route and site to administer MMR for this 5 years old child? It is subcutaneously to outer aspect of the upper arm. Option C is the correct answer. It's subcutaneous to outer aspect of upper arm. Move on to the next question. Glasgow Coma Scale score 4 indicate. Options, option A, death, option B, severe disability, option C, brain death, option D, coma. Glasgow's coma scale is the most commonly used neurological assessment tool and uh, the scoring system is based on the points that is 1 to 15. The highest possible score is 15 and a score of 8 or less than 8 indicate coma. If the client is unresponsive to painful stimuli or does not open the eyes or client has complete muscular flaccidity means score is 3. Here in our question, GCS score is 4 that indicate coma. Another one important point, the component of GCS score is mainly on best motor response verbal response and eye opening the highest score of motor response is 6 and the highest score of verbal response is 5 and the highest score in eye opening is 4 this is also an important point and the next question Troponin T is a marker of options. Option A, renal disease. Option B, myocardial infraction. Option C, muscular disease. Option D, liver cirrhosis of liver. Here our question. Troponin T is an indicator of or marker of troponin is a regulatory protein found in the striated muscles. It is one of the indicator or marker of myocardial infraction. Option B is the correct answer. Troponin T value higher than 0 0.1 to 0 0.2 nanogram per ml indicate myocardial infraction. Move on to the next question. Sinus arrhythmia occurs due to options. Option A change in body temperature. Option B sympathetic overstimulation. Option C change in respiration. Option D none of this. Here our question. Sinus arrhythmia occurs due to Change in respiration. Option C is the correct answer. Move on to the next question. Celiac disease affect which part of GI tract? Options. Option A. Stomach. Option B. Small intestine. Option C. Duodenum. Option D. Large intestine. Question. 
celiac disease is commonly affect in which part of gastrointestinal tract it is affecting the small intestine okay option b is the correct answer and the next question kerning sign is the diagnosis for options option a tetany option b meningitis option c ectopic pregnancy option d hereditary form mold here the question kerning sign kerning sign one of the positive kerning sign is one of the diagnostic tool for meningitis positive kerning sign means loss of ability to straighten the leg completely when the patient is fully flex the knee and hip okay fully flex the knee and hip he can't able to straighten the leg if he is in supine position that indicate meningeal irritation this is one of the sign of meningitis positive brudinski sign and kerning sign are the assessment findings of meningeal irritation move on to the next question rectal detachment most commonly occurs due to option option a trauma option b diabetes mellitus option c degenerative changes in the retina option d all of this question rectal detachment occurs most commonly due to degenerative changes in the retina also changes in vitreous humor may also cause rectal detachment and the next question localized collision of pus in tissue or organ is called options option a abscess option b cellulitis option c boils option c ulcers here are question localized collision of pus in tissues or organs is called abscess option a is the correct answer and cellulitis means infection or inflammation of the skin and the option c boils boils is also a infection of the skin but there is no pus collection in the skin and last option ulcers ulcers means there is a discontinuity or break in the membrane of the skin that is ulcers here localized the collection of pus in tissue or organ is called the abscess and the next question a female client has been admitted to nursing unit after thyroidectomy which assessment is the priority for this client options option a edema at the surgical site option b respiratory distress option c hypoglycemia option d nutritional status Here the question is a female client is admitted in the nursing unit immediately after thyroidectomy so what is the priority or first assessment for this client it is surely a respiratory monitoring okay respiratory distress option b is the correct answer immediately after surgery we have to assess the respiratory distress or respiratory status of the patient move on to the next question size of the foley's catheter used for children is options option a 6 to 8 french option b 8 to 10 french option c 12 to 14 french option d 16 to 18 french size of foley's catheter in different age group we can see for infants less than 8 french and for children 8 to 10 french it is yellow color and for female usually 14 french green color also can you 12 french catheter for females it is white in color so 12 french also can use for females commonly 14 french catheter is using and for male it is 18 french red in color also can use 16 french for male 16 french is orange in color here our question size of foley's catheter for children is 8 to 10 french option b is the correct answer and the next question insertion of foley's catheter in females up to how much centimeters options option a 10 to 12 cm option b 16 to 20 cm option c 6 to 8 8 cm option d 2 to 4 cm question while doing catheterization the foley's catheter should be inserted up to how much centimeter in females question for females that we have to see male and female is different centimeter so here the question is females in females we can insert 6 to 8 centimeter or 2 to 3 inch and in male we can insert 16 to 20 centimeter or in inches 6 to 8 inches
ओके सो हियर आर क्वेश्चन आंसर इज सिक्स टू एट सेंटीमीटर ऑप्शन सी इज द करेक्ट आंसर and the next question ph of csf csf is cerebro spinal fluid is options option a 5.4 option b 6 option c 6.5 option d 7.4 csf is slightly alkaline in nature and its ph is 7.4 option d is the correct answer csf is produced from the choroid plexus of the lateral ventricles of the brain and it is absorbed in arachnoid villi this both points are previous year question so this is important point secreted by choroid plexus and absorbed in arachnoid villi and the next question in postpartum weight loss is associated with options option a dehydration option b diuresis option c lactation option d leukemia in postpartum period that means after delivery the weight loss occurs in the body is mainly due to diuresis already during the time of pregnancy edema will form the body and also weight gain occurs during the time of pregnancy this all will lose through diuresis option b is the correct answer and the next and last question ideal time for ovulation in lactating mother is options option a 4 weeks option b 6 weeks option d 8 weeks option d after 12 week here the question is what is the ideal or correct time for ovulation in lactating mother or breastfeeding mother is after 12 week option d is the correct answer the ideal time of ovulation in non lactating mother is 4 weeks first option 4 weeks for non lactating mother here our question lactating mother is after 12 weeks so here we discuss questions from previous year question paper most of the questions are from previous question papers also important questions we discuss surely these questions will helpful for your exam preparation